What is up everyone, welcome back to Mainly Movies, the channel where we talk about, well, Mainly Movies. So today I'm going to be reviewing Ford v Ferrari, which is directed by James Mangold and stars Christian Bale, Matt Damon and John Banthal. When the car company Ford attempts to combine with Ferrari and get rejected, they ask Carroll Shelby, Matt Damon, to design the first Ford race car to go head to head with Ferrari in the 1966 Le Mans race. You just shut your mouth and let me do my thing. All right. Come here. Morning, Shelby. Morning, Molly. I'm yours. I'll go to hell. Now I'm a big car fan. I love racing movies. I love watching racing. I'm also uh, a big fan of mechanical engineering and things like that. So this movie did intrigue me, but also it's directed by James Mangold who has directed some of my favorite movies. Like these two movies that I forgot to put up in the background before making this video. Three Turns of Humor is one of my favorite Western movies of all time. It's one of my favorite remakes of all time. And Logan is probably my favorite superhero movie, even though it's not really a superhero movie. So I was generally excited to see this movie. And James Mangold proves to be one of the best filmmakers out today. These massive wide shots that he tends to use look brilliant on the screen. And it's a movie that you kind of really want to see in IMAX, VMAX, or whatever the big screen is these days. Now it was cool to see all these old Ford GTs and the GT40s and the old Ferrari cars in this movie. They kind of play a big, they, they almost play like a character in the film. Christian Bale's performance in this movie is great. He is also, he's awesome in everything pretty much. Matt Damon was really good as Carol Shelby. He did an amazing job and just the direction that James Mangold went in with this film was really, really good. Now this movie, in a way, with its shots, feels really clean. It doesn't feel like there's an abundance of digital effects and even if there was digital effects with the movie, which there probably was and there is, they hit it really well. There's no writing on the screen, there's no titles or whatever, I mean, except for the opening credits and whatnot, but it never feels like there's an abundance of digital effects or just things to ruin what the shot would look like, you know, and, and what the scenery of this period would be. And that's another thing I really liked about the film is the period that it's set in 1966. It feels like 1966. It's really good, like the period setting and the, the set design looks really good. And this isn't a movie that you necessarily need to know a lot about cars. You, even movie fans that don't necessarily have to know much about cars would still enjoy this movie because it still has that... Uh, it, it's, it's a feel-good movie and that's another thing I really like about the film is that it doesn't feel like a sequel or a reboot. It's a, it's a biopic in a way, um, but it doesn't feel overly like a biopic. It feels like a original film that we would see and that it, it, it in a way it feels very old. Not not in a bad way. It feels like a movie that I would have seen, I don't know, 10, 15 years ago. And I really, really enjoyed that. There's not a whole lot of special effects and when there is, it's it looks good. So, you know, that that's another great thing. It's it's not a it's an original idea. Now to get into the negatives, I don't really have many, but the biggest one that stood out to me was that this movie is called Ford v Ferrari, and Ferrari aren't really as big in this film as you would expect them to be. Now the trailers kind of show that there's going to be like a battle between Matt Damon and Christian Bale, but that's not the case, they're pretty much friends throughout most of the movie, and so I was expecting one of them to be on Ferrari's side, and Christian Bale sort of is, in a way. But then when they create and design these new Ford cars for racing, he just kind of goes on Ford's side and Ferrari until the last race is kind of forgotten about and you only see the actual company and all that political stuff with Ferrari, you know, at the start for a little bit and I didn't feel that connected to Ferrari and I knew that Ford were going to win because they had the upper hand throughout most of the movie. So in a way that was very kind of distracting for me. I mean, don't get me wrong, this is about a two and a half hour long film, but I still feel like 
Ferrari could have had something in there that we could kind of connect with because in this movie it just kind of portrays them as like the big bad guys. Another thing that I didn't really like was, and, and James Mangold is known to direct child actors really well, like in Logan with the little girl that, you know, plays Logan's daughter, basically. She was really good, but the kid that plays Christian Bale's son in this movie was quite bland in some points. In the final race, he would just kind of, with, without any emotion, would just say what's happening in the race. And we know what's happening, we can visually see what's happening. Someone crashes, and then he'll say that. It's like, it's like the writers want you to know what's happening through dialogue and we didn't we don't really need that but throughout the movie the kid kind of is portrayed very bland and without substance but other than that i really really enjoyed this movie it is a great film to watch i highly recommend watching it instead of charlie's angels which is a remake and and all these sequels that are out at the moment and it's, it's a very original film, it's good, it's a feel-good movie, you know, you, you feel good after watching the movie, um, and yeah, especially for people who are big fans of cars or, or racing and the whole sport and the history behind it, this is definitely a movie for you, as well as film lovers will enjoy this movie because it's technically really good and the shot composition's really good and the digital effects are so just so good that they're hard to spot. Which is why I'm going to give Ford v Ferrari an 8.5 out of 10. So guys, thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe and hope to see you guys in the next video. So stay tuned and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.